This is Twit. We're not calling it, as I mentioned at the top of the show, Leo, a Windows crash anymore. No? To everyone's great relief, I'm sure, Windows <laughs> will no longer crash. Oh, what a relief. No. However, Windows users may experience the occasional, what Microsoft is now officially calling an unexpected restart experience. Um, and this, of course, puts me in mind of SpaceX's term for one of their rockets when one, one of their rockets explodes on the launch pad. You may have heard this referred to as an unplanned rapid disassembly. Uh, that's the uh, that's the abbreviation URD. Sometimes it's known as the RUD, which is the rapid unplanned disassembly, both ref referring to the same event. Uh, also, the good news here is that Microsoft's infamous BSOD, all you know, beloved to all of us techies everywhere as the blue screen of death, well, it's changing its appearance, but fortunately, not its abbreviation. They've changed the screen background color to black. So the, un the official unexpected restart experience will be unofficially the black screen of death. So we still get to call it the BSOD. Those of us who have been around for a while, newbies will be experiencing an unexpected restart experience. Under their heading, now it's easier than ever to navigate unexpected restarts and recover faster. In their Windows Experience blog last Thursday, Microsoft shared with us, they said, a key trait of a resistant, I'm sorry, a re resistant, yeah, uh, a resilient organization is the ability to maintain productivity and minimize disruptions. But when unexpected restarts occur, they can cause delays and impact business continuity. Wow. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. Wow. This is why we are streamlining the unexpected restart experience. So, Leo, not only is it not going to be a crash, it's an unexpected restart, but it's going to be a streamline. Streamline. <laughs> yes. You'll hardly even notice it's we, It just, just don't, you know, go have a, you know, refill your coffee mug. We are also adding quick machine recovery, a recovery mechanism for PCs that cannot restart successfully. This change is part of a larger continued effort to reduce disruption in the event of an unexpected restart. Well, okay, the first time I read that, I thought this sure sounds, you know, the, 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 um, uh, the PCs that cannot restart successfully sound suspiciously like a response to that massive crowd strike outage that we all talked about. And many people actually our listeners experienced nearly a year ago. It was July 19th of 2024. So then Microsoft continues and makes that a little more explicit. They said the Windows 11 24H2 release, which is the current one, included improvements to crash dump collection, which reduced downtime during an unexpected restart to about two seconds for most users. <laughs> so they're not getting rid of the unexpected restarts. They're just making it faster. To yes, it's it. streamlined. Yeah. Streamlined. It's, it's, they're greasing yes. it. <laughs> um, we're introducing a simplified user interface. You know, I, I saw it. It's a black screen with one line instead of a bunch of, you know, all that hex that bothered people. Yeah. Like, what does that mean? You know, I sh should I anyway. be writing this down yeah, somewhere? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that caused a great deal of angst. They said the updated UI improves readability. I guess they made the type larger and aligns better with Windows 11 design principles. Oh, yeah. The type's definitely bigger while preserving the technical information on the screen for when it's needed. Oh, the simplified UI for unexpected restarts. Well, apparently they just removed the crash completely. They did a search and replace across the entire web, you know, environment. It's now unexpected restarts will be available starting later this summer on all Windows 11 version 24 H2 devices. Now they get to the other part in the case of consecutive 
unexpected restarts. Ooh. Devices can get stuck in the Windows recovery environment, impacting productivity and often requiring IT teams to spend significant time troubleshooting and restoring affected devices. Right. Last July 17th, anyone? This is where quick machine recovery, and that's just QMR for those of you who are keeping score with abbreviations, quick machine recovery can help. When a widespread outage affects devices from starting properly, Microsoft can broadly deploy targeted remediations to affected devices via Windows RE, automating fixes with QMR and quickly getting users back to a productive state without requiring complex manual intervention from IT. In other words, the Microsoft is now taken over next time something like CrowdStrike happens, and they will fix this in the field through their recovery environment in, through some mechanism, which they're not going in any greater detail at, th at this point. So what we definitely have is Microsoft's response to and solution for last year's massively widespread CrowdStrike event, which is, you know, just good news. They conclude writing, we are excited to announce QMR will be generally available this summer together with the renewed unexpected restart functionality. QMR supports all editions of Windows 11 version 24H2 devices. It's enabled by default for Windows 11 home devices. IT admins will be in full control and can enable it, and I would imagine should, by default for Windows 11 Pro and Enterprise. Later this year, Microsoft will release additional capabilities for IT teams to customize QMR. So, yay. Uh, we have quicker recovery from those unexpected restarts. The tired old blue screen is turning black and the response to preventing another widespread CrowdStrike like event coming from Microsoft, which is all great. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast or just click one of the links below. Security Now.